welcome back. So what do you have in your garden? Vegan Vicky, owner of Urban Sweetness, is getting creative with today's summer vegetable potato salad. Yum! Vegan Vicky also gets bonus points because she sent her recipe. I brought food. I love you. I brought food. <laughs> I love you more. Oh, this looks What's so good. Up, Fox? How you doing? I'm, so I'm doing awesome. I know I keep saying that and people are probably like, no, she's not, but I really am. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> it's good. It's okay to be doing great. It's okay. I know. You know, it's like, it's one of those things where like, should I say it? I don't know. Say it. Proclaim it. But no, it. I am You're doing okay. great. Good. Yes, I'm doing great. I like this recipe great. because it's easy and it's light. Oh my gosh. This is such an easy, light, and delicious recipe. You can even uh, use it as a main dish if you want to add some more things to it or but it's the perfect side dish and if you don't want like the traditional mayonnaise based uh potato salad this is going to be your friend yeah. right here so we have um you can use like one potato but i like to use three different potatoes because they all have a different texture and subtle taste to them so we have the red potato um and we have the fly does not come with it, people, so don't worry about that, okay? Uh, the fly will not come with that recipe. So you're going to, so you have your potatoes, and basically you're just going to cook those and just put enough water over them, slice them, put enough water over them just to um, make sure that they're, uh, make sure that they have a, uh, they're soft enough and tender, okay. and then you're just going to add the tomatoes. OK, and mm -hmm. you can use Roma tomatoes, but I like to use a traditional vine tomato because they have a little more juice to them and they'll add a little more texture to the dish. And then you're just going to add. I used fresh corn, but you can use frozen corn, yeah. but I just use a fresh corn. OK, and you're just going to add that to the recipe. And again, we got vegan feta. OK, now talk so about the vegan those, feta because I don't know if I've ever I love feta cheese. Yeah, feta cheese, but the vegan it. feta, it actually crumbles just like the regular feta. It is lower in calories oh, and cool. fat and salt, the sodium content. So we're just going to add that on. And for everybody, <laughs> again, my producer that said it's better feta. Yeah, it's better. I like, I'm going to use that. Tell him I'm going to steal that just so he knows. You know, <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> and then we're just going to add that. Okay. Now, the best thing for this is the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Got now it. you can use any type of dressing that you like okay. and uh, you have, you should have some there. And again, you, everybody, since I've been on here, you know, I like to make my own dressings. So again, you have your oil, then you're going to use a balsamic, vine a balsamic vinegar. And uh, again, the recipe is on the website. You're going to use a balsamic vinegar. And for um, the sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm using agave. And we're going to use a little pepper. Oh, that's this is just good. grinding the peppercorns and some kosher salt. And actually, you're just going to mix that right up and let that just mix all together and combine. Okay. And then you're just going to pour that over I feel over like I'm there. cooking with her, right? Yeah. You better cook with me, Christy. Girl, I'm it. trying. Okay. <laughs> and then that is the salad. Now, you can use a uh, fresh basil okay okay but if you don't have fresh basil you can actually use the dry basil leaves because they have the flavor as you know as a fresh basil and you're just going to put that on top mm. of your dish and it gives it a really nice earthy flavor to this dish so you Yum. have different components of texture a flavor you've got the creaminess from the feta you've got the subtle hint of the um tenderness from the starch from the potatoes but also so with the good. yellow potatoes you have a buttery flavor from the yellow potatoes and then like you have it. the uh, either Roma tomatoes or you can use the vine tomatoes which give it a juicy texture so, so you have good. all of these elements in this dish that make it a home run it, for a side dish or even a fresh dish grand slam girlfriend wait talk about your pop-up you're going hibachi Ooh. style right oh yes we are doing a daytime pop-up hibachi style we've got vegan hibachi so let me tell you people we have vegan shrimp vegan chicken and vegan steak with uh, my urban sweetness yum yum sauce which is amazing and this is going to be this thursday from 1 to 6 p.m or 12 to 6 i'm sorry uh -huh. 12 to 6 
p.m. And it is everything is made to order. Now, I will not be setting anything on fire okay. like they do at the other places. <laughs> oh, darn. So please don't come looking for that. I'm not going to do that. I won't be throwing knives in the air. Although it might be a little dangerous and scary. I'm not going to do that. So okay. But we're going to have vegan style hibachi and it's going to be amazing. You can follow me on um, urban underscore sweetness on Instagram to get more details okay. or to even pre-order. You don't have to, but it is strongly suggested. I'm just saying, I do sell out fast. <laughs> she, I'm just she's saying, kind people. of a big deal. We're going to put all I'm, the information you know, on our website as well. Since, right, since you said it first, I guess, uh, hey. I'll say it for true. you. <laughs> all right, Megan, Vicky, I, I love you. Thank you. Yes, love you more. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for uh, breakfast slash lunch.